Hi folks, uh, hope you are all doing well. Uh, yeah, I have not posted a video in quite a uh, while now. It's around 10.30 in the night. Uh, I am in the main building of IASC. You can see the Jain Tata uh, statue there. A lot of flowers are there here. I'll just walk you through the flowers here right now and then run you through what I wanted to talk about. So uh, we had an open day here in IASC this last weekend in Saturday and usually for open day uh, we bring uh, these flowers and decorate the uh, main building uh, ground. So that's what you're seeing here. Uh, so a lot of flowers and very good smelling flowers. This whole area is smelling very... Uh, a lot of fragrance is there this is the main this is the main building which i have shown in a previous video uh, it's around 10:30 in the night uh, so apologies if it looks dark so uh, my main point is uh, that i have been a little bit busy uh, past many uh, weeks because i have my comprehensive exam coming up it's next week but i wanted to put across something uh, soon uh, it's, it's that i think gate results have come uh, I have tried to answer many people's queries and if I have not answered some of your queries, uh, please uh, forgive me for that. Uh, I will try to answer them uh, in due course of time, uh, at least before uh, your your interviews or written exams in IITs comes up. So what, uh, what I wanted to tell is that uh, the main thing is... Uh, uh, main thing is that uh, you you need to do a proper research before uh, up, before applying for any courses. Uh, uh, what this I have covered in some of my previous videos, so I don't want to repeat what I have told. But then there are a lot of courses uh, which you can apply uh, for uh, with the gate score that you have. You need to maximize the opportunity that you get. Uh, that is the overall idea of things. So if you have a score of 600, you, there, are, I, <coughs> there are courses where people have got admission at that score. So you need to do proper research. See, nothing comes uh, free and nothing comes uh, that easily, at least for most people in life. Some people are lucky, you have to give it to them for that. Uh, so the thing is, uh, take your score, go through the cutoff, cutoff marks are available for all IITs. Uh, go through the IITs, uh, NITs, IAC look for different courses see if you can still uh, take take up those courses uh, if it matches your interest and see what your priorities are like uh, is it that you just want an mtech from an iit or you want a specific course if you just want an mtech from an iac and you are not really bothered about the course you can even go for a very unconventional type of uh, mtech okay uh, this i have covered before actually so i don't want to repeat that so my main point is uh, uh, I will put up a series of videos now about uh, the uh, written exam and the interview preparation, uh, what you need to do. I am in the hallway of the main building uh, where the officers of the registrar and all are. Um, so if you see here, this is the office of the registrar. Okay, uh, so the thing is, uh, once you get selected uh, for the written test, or interview what you need to look at though those things i will be covering in a series of videos please give me a week's time uh, let me uh, go through my comprehensive exam if i pass well and good if i fail also i will have to give it again before july that's part of life part of phd life um, uh, so the thing is if you get shortlisted for the written test uh, or the interview so the thing is may some courses have both written test and interview some courses have only interview so you need to be uh, clear about uh, what is the uh, what do you call what is the uh, criterion for admission for those courses okay so if it's a written test you need to talk to people who have got admission uh, what is the syllabus of it and all most of the time in most of the iits there will be a huge weightage for so this video i have to cover these two points uh, there will be a huge weightage for mathematics most of the places and in mathematics linear algebra probability theory uh, matrix algebra and uh, differential equations so basic math engineering mathematics uh, is the focus and some uh, basic knowledge related to the uh, the particular course in question okay those are the things that are usually there in all uh, written examinations when you come to the interview uh, don't be under the impression that uh, don't be under the impression that uh, what you call you need to be expert and you should give a perfect reply to whatever people ask so that is where many people uh, falter 
so the idea is they are looking for how you are approaching the question that is given to you and how uh, with how much ease you are trying to answer it and what is that what is your scientific uh, thought process in doing that so what they are saying is your uh, it's like uh, rabindranath tagore uh, uh, used to say about scientific temper so uh, they are just trying to see your time scientific temper and how quick how how are you thinking on your feet so f- this is for all of you who are uh, who are applying who are thinking to apply uh, so b- don't be afraid uh, don't be intimidated by the interview panel uh, they have at some point they have also been uh, in your position most of them uh, some people are born uh, very gifted you have to accept that uh, but then <coughs> most of the people had to have had to struggle in life so they understand your point so never have uh, an inferiority complex or a um intimidated mindset uh, while you are going for the interview or the written test when you are going for the written exam try to put in whatever you know everything onto that paper it's your one shot don't think like i am i just make sure that you don't write anything stupid on the written exam but apart from that most of these written exams at least in this admission to iits and iiss even for mtech or phd would be a descriptive type of written exam so they will allow you to express your mind even if you don't know the answer to the problem you can write down your approach uh, try to fill up the spaces i'm t- telling a very practical point practical uh, solution for it try to fill up the spaces with whatever you know about it what is your thought thought process just make sure that you don't write anything stupid there okay that's all then when it comes to interview i will be giving detailed videos later but uh, generally what i'm telling is don't be scared <coughs> take uh, the questions at calmly give up before don't jump st- and start giving answers take a 3 4 second pause think what you want to talk start building your answers then the interview panel will help you build your answer and be very very confident and try to tell them whatever you know and which you are genuinely not aware of be bold enough to tell that uh, sir i am not i don't know this right now uh, but i am happy to learn about it that's the way you should approach the uh, interview and the written exam uh, and be very very open uh, to opportunities and where all you can apply even if you don't get iits and uh, nits let's say there are other options there is the defense uh, institute of advanced technology dict in pune there is bits uh, there are nits there are local engineering colleges also which are good uh, see your priorities uh, do you want to get into a job if you have a very high gate sc- gate score okay another thing this is another thing if you have a very good gate score and your main focus is actually getting into a job uh, try not to uh this is this is a very controversial thing but try to not try not to waste uh, mtech seat of people who really want to uh, study if you are very sure that you will get some job you can always use that gate score next year that's what i'm telling i'm not telling that don't deny your own you also have the right to uh, take any mtech seat uh, that uh, is there because you have struggled for it but the thing is if your focus is mainly on job and you are not really interested in higher education but just for safety if you want to uh, take a mtech seat uh, i would suggest that don't do it because the thing is you can always use that gate score next year and get that same mtech seat that's what i'm telling but your job you can only apply this time so that is the point that i wanted to talk to you about so this is the overall thing uh, i will be posting detailed videos soon uh, but be confident and approach uh, uh, your interviews your written exams uh, with a lot of enthusiasm curiosity show to the interview board uh, your curiosity to pursue the course uh, develop that curiosity before you go into that course and another main thing is uh, when whichever you are you should be well informed about the course you are that you are applying for it shouldn't feel like you are just randomly going and applying whatever courses that is available to you it might be the truth because we are all human beings we are trying to get good opportunities that will be the truth actually you will be blindly applying to whatever courses that you can apply for but in the eventuality that uh, you have been shortlisted for a course and have been asked to attend the written test and you are going for an interview before you go for the interview you should be very well informed about what is the research happening in that department what are the faculties working on what is the course structure of the mtech program and uh, all those basic knowledge just basic ground work you should do so that people the, pe- the pe- people who are taking the interview uh, feel that yeah you, this guy is here see, uh, for a reason and he is serious about it and he is not just trying out opportunities even if you may be doing that this is the this is your way of preparing for the interview it's not just purely technical 
uh, so with this uh, i would like to stop so you understood right written exam interview about being confident about the technical details about interviews written exams and all i will be covering in future videos uh, i just wanted to say all uh, best of luck to people applying and i will try to answer most of the queries as best as possible whenever i get the time uh, uh, be confident all the best